The Department of Transportation recently announced that they are requiring all single aisle airplanes to have more accessible lavatories for passengers with disabilities, a step in the right direction for making more spaces inclusive for everybody. Chief Policy Officer at Paralyzed Veterans of America, Heather L. Ansley, is here to share more about the future of air travel and more actions we can take to make the world more accessible to everybody. Welcome. Thank you for having me today. Heather, what is the scope of the new rules that the Department of Transportation is sending down? So this means that passengers with disabilities will have access to uh, a lavatory on a single aisle aircraft and be able to take care of their basic uh, bodily needs with dignity. You know, today passengers with disabilities often have to dehydrate or fast. Um, sometimes for up to a day, which of course can be harmful. Um, they may even soil themselves during the flight because they don't have access to a lavatory on most single aisle aircraft in this country. So what this will mean is that in the future, larger single aisle aircraft will have a fully accessible lavatory. And Paralyzed Veterans of America has been working for decades to accomplish this. We're glad that we're at this point, but there's still more that needs to be done. There's always more work that needs to be done, um, Heather. But you know, what were the reasons why air travel and the industry was so so far behind on this basic standard for humans? <laughs> You know, air travel, unfortunately, just doesn't really accommodate the needs of passengers with disabilities, particularly those that use assistive devices like wheelchairs. The law that governs access to air travel, um, you know, didn't have an accessibility requirement for single aisle aircraft. And, you know, one of the reasons given was that uh, when the law came out in the early 90s, there were still twin aisle aircraft that would make those cross country trips in the U.S. And that isn't the case today. Now, you know, you're flying from Miami to, uh, you know, Los Angeles on one single flight, um, a single aisle aircraft. And that means if you're a wheelchair user, you're going to have several hours without any access to a lavatory. How else can we ensure that air travel is accessible to our disabled persons? You know, um, the air travel experience for many passengers with disabilities is at best frustrating and at worst it's just very unsafe. Uh, people have to contend with assistants that aren't properly trained, damaged wheelchairs, uh, bodily injury, and all of this can mean a loss of independence. It can even mean a life-altering, life-taking uh, injury for somebody who is a, a you know, disabled veteran or a person with a disability. So we're calling on Congress to uh, make sure in the pending FAA reauthorization that they include meaningful reforms to try to address some of the needs that our passengers with disabilities face in air travel. Thank you for your time with us today on ISF. All the best. Have a great one. Thank you.